Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, and we have a, a new game released on the 5th of December. It is from Alina Game. They have some games in their repertoire, but all of them fall within this style of grand strategy. Somebody from the company reached out to me, wanted to see if I wanted to play this game, and I'm like, absolutely, it's a strategy game. I don't try to be inter-genre prejudice here, I am, I'm inclusive to all strategy games. I have not played the first one. Apparently it's on Steam with mixed reviews. Not a lot of reviews though. Smaller company that is making their own style of strategy games. I will also put the tags on there for you. I'll put the tags on uh, for Steam up here for you so you can see kind of what they're giving it. Political sim, grand strategy, military. I'd say there's military involved. It's grand strategy. And it's all turn-based and it's Cold War era. And this is available, looks like, for $20 on Steam. And you also can download the demo and give that a try for free to see if this is your type of game. There are some aspects to this game that might scare you a little bit. Don't let it. It's perfectly fine. I like when they, when they look absolutely difficult, I like to figure them out. I haven't spent a lot of time on this game. I'm not here to just go from beginning to end. I want to show you kind of what it's about. I have the basic fundamentals, I guess you could say. So let's go ahead and start play. Uh, I do have some. Let's, I'm going to start something new. We're going to go with the uh, USA. We got boosts. And we can also choose with our present. Now we can choose Harry Truman, Kennedy, Nixon. I don't know why we choose Nixon. Or Reagan. Uh... I would I would pick probably Kennedy or Reagan. It gives you all these uh, spice production costs, which is really good. You got bonus for mixed political movement members. There's a lot of things that it gives you right here, and you can choose. So if you let's let's look. If you get uh, Kennedy, space technology costs five percent for Kennedy. If you get Truman, you get plus five to air, ground, and navy firepower. I would I'm gonna go with easy probably. Because, I mean, we're, I'm, I'm not going to do hard right now. And it gives you the difficulty and the objectives that you have to do here. So if we're on easy, we got to do the space race. we got to win the space race. Medium, you'll get 50 good scores. And there's many ways to get scores. Uh, or if you want to do very hard, you can uh, coup your enemy. That seems really intense. We'll just start with our, our guy Truman here and go in. Okay, so it gives you basics of what this game's about. This is a blue versus red competitive game. It, Hence, you know, it's grand strategy as well. To win the game, you need to defeat the other side before the year 2000. You spread your alliance. So whenever, if we get somebody, so we're going to be blue. So if we get a country that's blue, that's going to give us a score. To another faction or nuke to ash. I don't know if we'll get that far or not, but to complete the grand campaign, you will need to pass various campaign missions in different game difficulty settings. So we'll start, every decade start with an election. So we start in January 1950. We have five control score don't be intimidated by this screen at first I was I wanted to run away like Forrest Gump <laughs> but I like to just sit down research a little bit and kind of see what what there is to do so we have elections that take place every 10 years so this is your tutorial that does come up so often when you click something so when we go to this list here we can uh, either select one guy that we want and vote so let's look at what we got here we got Robert Cutler we got firepower I need to do like some space stuff because I have to win the space race that's kind of the mission that you have on easy so it would make sense to me to do maybe uh, maybe budget or more economy and space so we could probably do economy here 50 to budget early I could do Eugene McCarthy let's, uh, Let's do that. So now we go to the actual map where you can see the world map. You can click up here to your theaters. You can go down to South America and you can see the mess over here in Europe. We are in the Cold War, technically. And as you can see, it is a turn based game. If we look at the UI up here, we have global influence. And as you can see, it is pretty, it's pretty much even. You start out even with the blue and the red. And you have political action points that you get, I would believe, you gain three points yearly with these political action points, and you use those to get some get some stuff. You also have uh, diplomats that you can get to do other. We can look at we can look at the industrialization copper cooperation contracts can be established between your alliance parties or neutral regions. You need to choose one region on each side. Select either icon for diplomat, military, or spy. So that is the um, down here one political point requires to start a contract 
so we can start a contract we can look at south uh maybe south korea we can do military defense contract with south korea let's do that let's get that going space technologies uh we have to okay so we also have the budget let's look at the budget you can see your global influence so as each as time goes on all this stuff will change when it comes to budget and spending you get three political points yes uh we already used one of those points and there is the space stuff right there that i need however first i'm going to need to get in this area which is space technologies i'm gonna go ahead and increase that by one uh, space race increases global or alliance influence a faction that discovers technology or builds a fac facility faster than another is rewarded with higher amount of influence so you get influence through that and here's your also your military technologies you can spend your uh, action points here and it will start upgrading that we got one to spies as well let's uh we got technologies for air units here we have land units you got the designs for naval nuclear and space technology probably go with the mark IV. let's go with the nuclear i mean why not let's do that now if we can look at the global consequence points uh let's see what it says you invest global points into global consequences um by clicking on the gpc card and button with green plus you receive two annually so per year we're going to get two see changes randomly plus one or minus one anytime when a war starts anywhere on the globe okay so we have two to spend now we can now how it goes is this is going to cost 30 points and it's kind of a race it's all it's this game is also kind of a race to who gets to what first so if if the blue me gets to 30 on the berlin airlift then we will win and this will be our right here will be our uh, bonus if the if the red wins 30 ussr influence in india if they do the india if they do the berlin airlift 40 opposition in east germany now i would rather myself first go at least put one into the new way of india it's going to cost 90 but we need to get there by 1960. so i'm going to go ahead and do that and then i'll probably go ahead and put one into the vietnam war well so we, so we get we get two per year bring up say a map somewhere or something like this you can just right click it it is right it is right click to exit out it took me a little bit to figure that out but i love sharing so let's we can do influence uh or actually i'm kind of i'm uh, i'd like to go down here in cuba kind of central america right here see if we can up our influence let's do that Let's go around here czechoslovakia we could we could start i mean technically we are nato i mean it says allies but i mean i mean come on we're, we're nato people we, this is nato what we're gonna do what nato does i guess is just let's increase our influence in czechoslovakia see if we can turn this block blue and if you go down here initiate civil war in the region if you get high enough score up you can do these actions which is also pretty cool i have not done that yet on any game any any gameplay but i think that would be that would be pretty fun to do so uh we're still in january we just, we just this is in the turn and now we're in february so we just look and as you can see that has taken off pretty good we don't have any political action points we have united nations points but i'm trying to think of where the united nations points would be oh here it is here it is found it so what can i do here I don't think I've quite so I have to have 50 I gotta have 50 to do this for peacekeeping and in condemn intervention great speech in UN and I can do the res oh wait but if I get so if I get to 50 I can do that for two hold on what do we got here you receive UN points for different actions during the game actions are listed on the left side of the UN window once you have enough points you can conduct different resolutions oh okay so I guess we have to get enough points to do that which is what I'm thinking okay so that's gonna take a while let's go over to South Korea let's increase the military there presence and we'll increase spies oh we can actually oh we're close I think we're close to doing something we got 85 I think if we get up if we fill this bar then we can actually do an, an action here wow that's cool uh, in the turn now we're in March so it does go by pretty quick you get into a rhythm of things but i just kind of wanted to show you the very basics of this game i consider this casual 
some people might not consider it casual. You're not really putting a lot of thought into it. It's a good pastime. So yeah, this is from Alina Digital on Steam for 20 bucks, released on December 5th. Uh, seems to me like it's, I think it's a good pastime, good casual grand strategy. Do not let this UI fool you, you eventually get used to it. Once you learn where to go and learn kind of where where everything is, and it's not so bad, you know, it's, it's a nice, I can just sit here and just keep ending turns all I want, but you don't want to do that, you always want to keep doing something. I have 11 United Nations points now, so I guess, ooh, we got some other stuff going on here, so it's, you know, it's, it, it starts picking up as, you know, through time. This has been Arms Race 2. I enjoy these type of games every once in a while. I think it's a good casual, casual thing to get into. But I want to thank everybody for watching this video. Uh, check out my other videos. I have a lot of other stuff coming. And remember to subscribe. And if you want to get updates on every upload that I do, you know, turn on, the, turn on those notifications. Check that bell. And we will see you again soon.